Hello, this is Alistair Goodell from GT Driving School. We're in Seven Oaks today, and just ahead of us to the left is the Seven Oaks Test Centre. It's a very small uh, car park for the Test Centre, and you won't be asked to do a reverse bay park as one of your manoeuvres. Um, you'll only be asked to do either a parallel park, a move away from the right, or a forward bay park at this particular test centre. Anyway, we're going to go past the test centre as if we were turning left out of the test centre car park and we're going to do a tiny little route uh, that takes on um, the uh, 229 and uh, the high street as well as a little junction called the fountain. Now the fountain's quite challenging. Um, it's uh, easier to the left, uh, a little bit more difficult when turning right at the fountain and we're going to do the two routes. This is going to be the turn left at the fountain route and then um, my next video will be the turn right at the fountain route. So without any further ado we'll move on. So I'm checking my mirrors indicating right, checking behind me, everything's fine, moving on. So the test centre is quiet at the moment because the tests are currently out and about and we're going to be turning left here. So checking mirrors and indicating left into South Park. Looking good. Moving on. Now it can be a bit challenging here. Park cars on both sides. Get not quite enough room for two cars. So again, looking well ahead before you move on. Get back on our side of the road. Quite a sharp corner going up the hill here. Now just as we get a little bit further, there's plenty of parking uh, just around the Stag Theatre just before we get to the junction. The problem is that uh, it is incredibly busy around here at most best times. So we're just tiptoeing our way through. We've got a few cars moving on our left, people around us, doors opening here and there. And we're just gently moving through until we get to the end of the road. On our left hand side there's a zebra crossing and we're going to, but we're going to be turning right at the end of the road. Now I might be able to use the zebra crossing to help me get round if, the, if that blocks people coming from my left hand side. At the moment I'm still looking to my right. At the moment it looks like I could go now so moving round. Taking my time now. Often there's plenty of parked vehicles, delivery vans, etc. But at the moment it looks quite clear. And immediately after this zebra crossing, I'm going to turn left. So I'm going to check main and left, indicate left. Be aware of Mr. G4S. So I've got to get past and round him. And then round this side of the junction. I'm checking to my right and I'm very gently moving forward towards the zebra crossing. Checking both sides of the zebra. There's a lady on my left. So she's crossing once she's gone and fully crossed. I can then check again and move gently forward. Now we're going in through the high street. The high street looks quite quiet at the moment. There's a market that happens here on a Saturday and it can be quite manic. Quite a pinch point here. The buses and lorries come through here. And, um, and because of the, um, the pavements aren't too wide, people can be stepping out into the road. We've got a light controlled crossing here. People are crossing at the, um, while it's still green. I'm just being a little bit cautious about people on either side, just in case they turned uh, crossed. Any of these cars on your left hand side could be moving off. And we've got a man standing in the middle of the road there just a minute ago. The lights are red here and then we're going to turn left at the lights. So I'm going to check main and left, indicate left, slowing it down to the white line. Now we won't be the only people that get a, a green light. The black car ahead of us that's indicating now will also get a green light. But I should technically be able to go first. He should wait for me. That's should, not necessarily will. So just having to be a bit cautious about any traffic, especially if they look a bit aggressive and want to go a bit quick. 
So while I'm waiting at the traffic lights, I'm checking my mirrors to see if there's any cyclists and motorbikes, that sort of thing, or people crossing behind me. Got this chap in front that's uh, wanting to cross the road. All looking okay at the moment. Somebody's doing something they shouldn't be. Bit of hooting. Waiting at the lights. Should be us next. Here we go. So checking left and right, making sure it's safe. There we go, Mr. Black Car. Thought he might do that. Round we go. Now the van, is he going to stay where he is? Yes, he is. That's good. Now these traffic lights, I've either got a left filter or a straight on and right. Now I'm going to go into the straight on and right lane. And I'm actually going to go straight ahead towards Seven Oaks District Council. Looks good to me. We've got green arrows so we can move on. Following it round. Now in this particular case we've got a nice big wide road but up ahead it's rather narrow so I'm just checking to make sure all the way down the road to see if there's anything coming. If there isn't that's fine I can now move out into the road. Okay something coming so I'm just going to slow things down. There's a bit of a gap on their right hand side they might be able to use. They do. Well done. And then we come round back to the test centre. And we'll park in this space. Slow down and stopping. 